Well, hello, beautiful fish lovers and coral crazies. Welcome to another episode. In this episode, we're taking the ultra low maintenance nano reef and adding fish to it, making it a true reef tank. I'll also be adding some new invertebrates, so watch the video and see what I got. But first, I want to start with a more somber note. So the Petco that I normally shop at is going out of business forever. And the reason is not due to poor sales, but due to legislation. I live in the city of Cambridge, Massachusetts, and recently my city passed a ban on selling any sorts of commercially bred animals. That's right, they banned pet stores from selling pets. This was a targeted law at a few small businesses in Cambridge that basically destroyed their ability to operate, to make money, and make a living. I got into aquariums about six years ago when I started grad school. It was a great way to relax and de-stress from research and problem sets and all the other things weighing on my mind. I'd walk down to the Petco, which is the only pet store within walking distance of MIT and I'd be able to look at all the fish and dream of different types of aquariums and aquascapes I could create. It was really important for me. Over the years I formed relationships with the people that worked at that pet store and it was nice. I'd go in, I'd chat a bit, maybe I'd get a pet, maybe I'd just grab some food, uh, but it was, it was a really good place and it was something that was always there for me. So when I went in this last time, the last time that I'll ever see this pet store open in full, it was, it was a very sad and emotional moment for me. Even though everything was 50, 60, 70 percent off that could get you excited, I uh, looked around and I saw a lot of people who I'll probably never see again. People who need to go find new jobs. All because the city of Cambridge decided that pet stores shall no longer be allowed to sell pets within their city. They've deprived so many other people, many, many, many students at MIT and Harvard and the surrounding areas, the joy to easily get accessible stress relief by caring for uh, another animal, um, from being able to discover the joys of uh, interacting with nature. And this is gonna be very detrimental to the city in my mind. So that's my story. Uh, enough of this somber news, we can talk more about this outrageous ban later. But let's get to the fish, I'll show you what I got, and I'll show you how cool this tank is starting to look. Alright, I got my jacket on, so let's go to Petco and get that 40% off deal. So everything in their aquatic section was about 40% off, including all the discounts. So I just asked them to give me every single invertebrate that's reef safe that they had. I have a very large tank and I don't have much of a cleanup crew yet. I also asked them to toss in every single fish that they have that's compatible with my current fish. So sadly, I had to leave some of those beautiful clownfish behind. So I'm back from Petco and I have all of my critters here. The first thing I'm going to do is equalize the temperature with the temperature of the tank. It was pretty cool outside so it might take some time for them to equalize. After I do that, I'm going to take out a bucket and drip acclimate this tank water into the bucket. Because this is such a small tank, I'm going to turn my auto top off completely off so it doesn't add fresh water to the tank. Instead, what I'm going to do is have a bucket of salt water from a new batch of salt I mix up. So as the salt from this drips out into the acclimation cup, I will replace the salt in the tank. So the new critters will get acclimated. This will also get a water change at the same time. So let's talk about what I got. Uh, right here, I got a neon dotty back. Uh, captive captive bred fish. I also have a scissor tail dart fish, the very last one there. And then the last one I have that's actually a fish is a pajama cardinal fish. 
And I'm gonna put these also in this tank so that I can basically get my quarantine tank uh, really ready and stabilized. I have a bunch of snails in here, all sorts of kinds. I basically just took uh, everything, everything that I could find. Rolled crab. So we're now drip acclimating the snails. Uh, it's about, I dumped out a lot of the water and now it's the water volume is about maybe doubled, almost tripled. So it's about time. I also checked the salinity beforehand and it was pretty close. So the amount of time that you need to drip acclimate is correlated to the difference in salinity. Note that there can be differences in pH too, so uh, you don't want to just dump them in if the salinity is identical, but it does lessen the time when they're closer. Alright, let's get everything in. So now that I got all the snails in there, I'm going to put in my fish. But the same rules with fish, you want to acclimate them slowly. Uh, you can acclimate them by just taking small cups of water and dumping it in the bag, but since I already have the drip acclimation set up going, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Now we're gonna get these guys into the tank. Also, the high level of snails will also be supported by the fact that I'll start feeding live food to the fish that are in there, and I'll also be target feeding my anemone. So right now, I am putting the finishing touches on this tank. This used to be my ultra low maintenance tank, but I am upping the bio load because I'm making it a nano fish paradise. <laughs> Take you up and boom, 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 me I'm the only one that you know. Life could be a dream, sweetheart. I wanted to point out that the organization that supported this ban in Cambridge is the MSPCA. The bill was introduced by Vice Mayor Mark McGovern. Uh, please do not vote for him and please do not donate to the MSPCA. There are a lot of other places to send your money to protect animals. Uh, this information on the ordinance is extremely deceiving. Uh, they have a picture of a puppy there and the ordinance has nothing to do with caged puppies. It is intentional. Uh, propaganda made to deceive you. What it does is it prohibits um, the selling of mammals, birds, reptiles, amphibians, and arachnids in pet shops. And this picture is for something that already has been banned in Cambridge. There is no uh, puppy sales in Cambridge anyway. And they tell you what the ordinance does. They claim it protects consumers and protects animals, but really these large national chains have much better uh, insurance that their uh, supplies are uh, reputable than the average Joe Schmo selling from his shop. They claim that it does not put anyone out of business, but if you ban an ice cream shop from selling ice cream, I guarantee you they're probably going to go out of business. And it also cuts down on consumer choice, which is something that they claim it doesn't do. I can tell you I have a lot less choice now. I have really no place near my house that I can buy frozen foods, so now I have to get in my gas guzzling car and drive somewhere. Uh, farther away in order to buy the food. So what I'd like you to do is go to the Pet Industry Joint Advisory Council. This is a group that 
um, basically defends our right to have pets and they've stepped in and defended our rights to propagate coral in the past. Click here to contribute and what you can do is you can contribute. I saved $100 when Petco was going out of business so I'm going to donate $100 to them right now. Uh, please donate any amount that you're comfortable with and you can click right here and donate with PayPal. And donating is as easy as that. Once again, that's the Pet Industry Joint Advisory Council. They've done a lot for the coral community to make sure that we can still propagate our corals and captive grow corals. So please donate to them and tune in Wednesday at 5 p.m. I will be revealing my Rico Nano Tank Challenge concept. I'll catch you later and happy reefing.